I've been busy. <laughs> I've got back to the Jeanette's Journal series. Um, I did this cover off camera, literally, about 10 minutes ago. It's taken me half an hour to do it, but I did it. No, it took about 45, anyway, it doesn't matter, it took about 45 minutes for me to do it. But I did it off camera because I wasn't sure whether it was going to work out. But it did. So thrilled. But yeah, so there's the signature. Haven't done anything more to that than what you've already seen if you've been following along. But this is the journal cover. And yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be a vintage themed journal, so... I hope the cover kind of fits in. It feels vintagey to me, but you know, <laughs> you guys know I struggle with vintage. <laughs> um, under here is an Amazon packaging, one of them folder things. Um, typical, I haven't got one to hand, now I want to show you one. Um, these. I haven't got them to find. I've got a bag full of them here. These ones. It's one of them. Um, but yeah, so I've just cut it down slightly at this side, you know, where it kind of dips in like that. I've cut it so that it was straight. And that's it. I've cut a bit off the top and bottom. Two inches actually off top and bottom. Like an inch off the top and an inch off the bottom. Um, and then I just kind of refolded it to how I wanted it. And yeah, that's the flappy bit. And I have used a pillowcase. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it though. I love how it turned out nice and neutral, which pretty much follows the theme of the signature anyway. The right kind of tones, colours, not so much tea, coffee dyed, but vintagey thing, theme, feel. I can't speak. <laughs> Um, these ruffles I didn't do, they were already in the right pillowcase, so that worked out nice. And I positioned it so that this was or the flappy bit, because I've mentioned this before, you guys who follow me on a regular basis know I'm not a fan of um, faffing, decorating the front covers. I never know what to do, I'm always at a loss. But yeah, so I did absolutely nothing at all to prime the packaging prime get it <laughs> no pun intended there guys i just realized what i said <laughs> i did nothing to um prep <laughs> the packaging before i put the cover on well, apart from i just used some um uhu glue stick along the packaging and then stuck the fabric to it just it didn't even stick properly but it just held it together enough for me to be able to get it through the sewing machine without it moving obviously didn't want to use like um fabri tac or like glitter glue because it's this material it would have seeped through because it's really thin um it's not silk and i don't think it's not satin but it's kind of a i don't know it's a weird i don't know what it is um but yeah it's a pain in the backside to work with anyway it's nice when it's done because it frays beautifully, um, but it can be a pain to work with. And then on the inside, I just used some calico. So, yeah, and again, like I said, just kind of glued it in place with a glue stick. So it's not even glued down. You, you can actually get hold of it and lift. But, you know, it'll that's good because it, work, it works with the cover. Um, I will be sewing this in. I'm not, I didn't want to because it's quite thick. I was going to do it as a TN style. But then I thought, no, I will sew it in. But actually, do you know, I might not. Um, see, the thing is, this is where I'm torn. Jeanette, I need your opinion on this. This is going to be your journal. Um, sew it in or... Um, I look top and bottom TN style. Oh, do you know if I do that, I've got some. Let me just see if this will work. Well, it'll work, but if it's the right cut, ooh, ooh. Put that on the spine as a. Because this is elastic, is this? Um, hmm. What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon, Jeanette? That's 
pretty much what it looks like on. It's definitely durable enough. Um, hmm. I don't know. I will sew it in if you want me to, but you know what I'm like, guys. <laughs> I don't like sewing. If I do sew it in, though, I will put some lace or ribbon or something across the binding to hide the stitching because my stitching is atrocious. But yes, so anywho, this is the cover. Um, I've gone around it originally with a zigzag stitch. Quite pleased with that, except I started in the wrong end. I should have started in this back corner down here. I started at the top in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I started originally with a zigzag stitch just to make sure I got all three layers. Um, the calico, the packaging and the front cover. Um, so and it's one wonky, like usual. Um, and then after doing that, I cut it all. I made sure it was bigger than I needed. I cut it all down to size, frayed it a little. It's wonky as goodness knows what up here. Not just the stitching, but the actual fraying because I didn't cut it straight. <laughs> but there's just you can actually still see the cardboard between if you do that. Um, but then I went round it with a straight stitch just on the very edge just to try and hide some of that. I have got it in places where you can't see the cardboard and then places like there I've missed. But you know, it also just helps it to stop fraying any further. But then I did go around the edges and fray even more. And it will fray more over time as well, but it won't go any further than that straight stitch. So there you go. Um... And then, I went round it all, obviously, the first time with the zigzag, so it's got it there. But then here, I went round with the straight stitch, but then I stopped there and started again there, because in between there, that is not glued down, is an eyelet. I did put an eyelet in there, um, and the binding, it's just looped through. I'm, I was going to glue it shut, but I'm not going to do that because just in case you Jeanette change your mind and want to put a different binding on that's up to you but um, like I said I'm not going to glue it shut now you might want to change the ribbon or something that's up to you to do that um, but yeah so that's where we're at so far I'm going to put a pocket on and then I'm going to do something here I'm not quite sure what yet but that's it There's, she's pretty much done um, obviously the signature needs decorating but that's it the cover's done so there's plenty of room top and bottom and here at the side before that folds over because i want to add like ribbon like lace and tabs and stuff so you know I like to have plenty of space that's plain probably keep it plain well i will actually because that folds over it um but yes yeah, so there she is um little bit of decoration there on the back with what's left over from the front so i'm not going to do anything there either and then like i said just wrapped around and then let's see if i can remember how to do it because this is what i was saying about maybe you want to change it there's not much oh like that right left one at the top went through the middle didn't go through both i went through the middle one and then No, that's not how I did it. No, sorry, went under with that one. Through the middle and up with that one. And then just tied a little knot. And that holds her in place because there's not a lot to tie a knot with. <laughs> but yeah, so you'll figure your own close you out um but yeah so hopefully she's not going to be too chunky when she's finished although the cupboard will allow for it because i actually already did have a spine worked out for this like that originally but now that i've sewn it and everything and i haven't reinforced that it's all bendy and stretchy so yeah there you go guys so I'm not sure what part this is. I think it's part three, maybe. But there we are with the cover. So now that's out of the way. I can get back to happily working on the signatures now. I'm quite happy with that now. 
Um, I've put this off for so long because I was dreading it, thinking it's not going to work. This stuff's a pain to work with, but yeah, I did it. Didn't do it on camera for that reason because I just would have fluffed it on camera because of nerves, knowing that I was filming and you guys would have been watching. But yeah, so I'm really chuffed that it turned out the way it did. I obviously have another one of these because it was a pillowcase, so chances are I might make another one at some stage now I know it worked out. But yeah, there you go guys, so... I will see you again soon for the next part, which will be embellishing the, um, and well, embellishing and decorating the signature. So thank you so much for watching. Jeanette, let me know whether or not you want me to sew it in or TN style it. Um, it's your journal, I'm easy. I'm happy either way. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.